From then on, Silvio worked for his uncle, his father's killer. Apparently, he had a knack for persuasion. Quickly, he became his uncle's advisor, proving his worth by discovering a Saranzo plot against the Barbarigos. You're gonna love this. Before the plot could be carried out, Silvio throws an Easter celebration, inviting the Saranzos. There's a pageant for the children in the central courtyard, while Silvio escorts the parents to the roof. He toasts the family, then signals the archers hidden behind the courtyard windows. The Saranzos never plotted against the Barbarigos again. Fast forward ten years, and Silvio's living in his uncle's luxurious Venetian palazzo. According to the history books, his uncle died in bed. <laughs> Silvio Barbarigo Il, Ros <coughs> Il Rosso, date of birth 1435, profession, member of the noble, member of the Supreme Tribunal of Venice, state inquisitor and a noble. An unpleasant turn of events. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna cut it short this episode. I have two hours, of, an hour of content and plus last and upload export last night, so I'm just gonna export those both and say I'm done with it. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. If you <clears throat> haven't, click the like. If you like the video, click the like. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button to get daily up updates on my content. <clears throat> And leave me a comment, let me know how I'm doing, and a share would be nice. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, and goodbye.